Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Living on the Farm. Uh, things have kind of slowed down here at the end of summer just a little bit. We've been spraying our beans, uh, our double crop beans especially where they're so young, the weeds have been growing up and we uh, redid a trailer for Harold. So uh, we're just going to feed this morning, take it easy and give you a few updates as we go. Thanks for watching. This is the trailer we uh, redid the floor in. Harold's had this trailer for quite a while. Uh, so the floor was getting in bad shape and he couldn't decide what he wanted to do really. He thought about maybe just getting a new trailer, but we priced them and I'm sure a lot of you know the way, the way things are right now with the virus and everything else, uh, everything's gone up. Steel's gone up, lumber's gone up. So we priced wood for the floor and it was sounded pretty high uh, so he priced a new trailer and that sounded really high so he decided to get the lumber and we'd pitch in and help him put a new floor in it so it, it turned out pretty good it ought to last a long time well we just realized that we've never introduced the herd bulls that we have here that run with the heifers so we'll show you who they are this little guy is Mr. T. He's the youngest. The orange tag is Poncho. And that's Lefty. We AI with Angus bulls uh, and then clean up with Hereford bulls. So the babies out of these guys will be baldies. And uh, part of one reason we do that is if we sell somebody heifers that are supposed to be AI bred and they have a baldy calf, we know that the vet missed one on the preg check and you know we can make it right with them or whatever they want us to do. So that's one thing and they're pretty good bulls. Hereford bulls are pretty good. Longevity is good on Herefords and uh, they're pretty easy going so it's nice to have a little color in there. fall heifers that we just bought that uh, will breed here first part of December probably. So they've only been here a couple weeks and I'm just hand feeding them. 
walking through them, get them gentled down so we get them the way we like them, just calm and easy to work with. Um, we still got a few more to find somewhere, but they're going to be a pretty nice set. We're excited to get them bred and see how they do. You can see one of the pins here at the hoop barn is completely empty. Um, they came, the people that own the cattle came and got a full load, 40 of them, uh, last week and took them to uh, Iowa to have them harvested. And uh, we haven't heard anything back yet how they graded or anything, but I'm pretty excited. I think they did pretty good. I know they gained really well while they were here they average somewhere around four pounds a day of gain uh, and that's part of the part of that's the hoop barn part of it's good cattle part of it's good feed it kind of all has to work to get that kind of gain but uh, we're pretty excited to see how they did and the rest probably won't be too far behind them Molly thinks it's time to go home and lay on the couch. So thanks everybody for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next week.